Superintendent Harris, it's no secret that before I became principal at McKinley High, well, our students were dumber than Alabama first graders. But now, not only have test scores skyrocketed, but we have become the most tech-savvy school in America. Due to my close personal relationship with the Koch brothers, who generously donated a special ops drone, which should be flying by right about now. <laughs> Seems to amaze me. Thank you, Superintendent. Listen, I have a tiny favor to ask you. I have humbly submitted myself for the United States Principal of the Year Award. It's the type of award that would make a resume sparkle. Well, you're not planning on leaving us, are you? Oh, no. Well, absolutely not. Uh, the only thing I need to complete my application is a letter of recommendation, which I have right here. <laughs> I will need to uh, review this, of course. In the meantime, I have a favor I'd like to ask of you. Glee Club, William Frodo, this fine young man standing next to me, is Superintendent Harris's one and only nephew, Mr. Myron Muscovitz. Hey! <laughs> Myron is about to celebrate the most important day in a Jewish boy's life, his bar mitzvah. It's a sacred ritual in which he becomes a man and thus a full-fledged member of the uh, Jewish community. And I'm putting on a show. <laughs> Myron will be performing a little musical number at his bar mitzvah party. And he would very much appreciate it if you would give him any pointers. And did I mention, he's the superintendent's nephew. Okay, so this is just rehearsal, so be kind. Lights! Hit me! Don't know what to do. After having done everything that you asked me, grabbed you, grind you, liked you, tried you, move so fast, maybe now I can't find you. Can you keep up, baby boy? Bring the noise, hit me hard. Can you keep up, baby boy? Bring the noise, hit me hard. Ooh, if you can't make me say ooh, like they beat it. Because maybe you are dismissed Can you keep up, baby boy? Bring the noise Hit me high Can you keep up, baby boy? Bring the noise Hit me high Can you keep up, baby boy? Bring the noise Hit me high Amazing, Myron, you are very talented. Oh, thank you, Miss Barry. I'm a huge fan, so that means the world to me. But here's the rub. I want my bar mitzvah to be perfect. Not good, not great, perfect. How can I improve this number? Seriously, give me notes, anything. Maybe your dancers could just smile a little bit more? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, exactly. I already told them that. I already told you that. What's wrong with you people? You know, I thought I hired professionals, but obviously I was mistaken. You're fired. Get off this stage now, bitches. May I speak with the adults, please? Do anything he asks. This stage is sheer heaven. My uncle said I can use it for my party if it's okay with you. Of course you can. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're my new best friend. Now, best friend, I'd also like the Glee Club to be my opening act. And I'd also be happy to pay them, say, 20 grand. What, to, to, um, wow, that's, that's <laughs> very generous, but uh, unfortunately, show choir bylaws forbid us from accepting any compensation. Okay, then you can do it for free. It'll give your kids invaluable stage experience. Doesn't that sound fun? <laughs> hey, I thought I told you to leave, skank. Now, go! Uh, Myron, uh, although we would usually jump at the opportunity to perform right now, we're just really busy practicing for sectional. They accept. Oh. 